Hello, my loves. I hope everybody is safe, happy, healthy, and doing well. All right, my beautiful loves. Let's see what we have here for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. <clears throat> so, my loves, we're going to go ahead and start with some channeling message, some channel messages, some oracle, and then the reading, okay? All right, so Aries... I feel like someone here wants something and if they could get this something it would make them the happiest person in the world okay so I feel like this person comes in to ask for this something this something could be hey you know will you lend me money or hey do you want to be in a relationship with me or hey you know do you want to go into business with me? I don't know. You know what I'm saying? Um, somebody here wants to ask a question, Aries, okay? Um, but I feel that it is a little risky because it would change the dynamics of the connection. It would either destroy the connection, like it would make it weird or something, um, or it would be awesome, okay so i feel like someone here they want to ask but they're afraid that if they take the risk they're going to regret it okay so that that's kind of like what i'm feeling here um so let's see what we have for the oracle spirit tell me about aries please what messages do we have here for aries we've got prosperity prosperity lies ahead and what do you need to release so I feel Aries, maybe fear, you know what I'm saying? Someone here needs to release fear or anxiety of coming forward to ask for what they want, okay? Um, with prosperity lies ahead, you know, I feel like, I feel like it could mean two things. Either, you know, someone's going to ask the question and the answer is going to be yes and everyone's going to be happy or someone's going to say no and at least you'll know it's no and you know you can move on to being happy and doing something else so let's see here tell me about aries please 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 I saw a deceit that wanted to pop out we've got first chakra hostilities and angel of balance so I feel here that Aries, here's the thing. Um, it could go either way. Either someone can ask the question and get a very nasty answer. Or, you know, someone can come in and say, yeah, I do want to be with you. Or, yeah, let's do it. You know what I'm saying? So it could be positive or it could be negative. So either way, though, it's a win-win situation because if it's no, then you can move on with your life. And if it's yes, then fantastic. What do we have here for Aries, please? Yeah, I feel like the vast universe and the honoring path with dark thoughts here, you need to just end this. If you're having these type of thoughts about somebody, if somebody's consuming your mind and consuming your thoughts, you need to know what they think of you. Does this person share the same feelings? Do they feel the same way about you? And if they don't feel the same way about you, then you need to just close that chapter of your life and move on, okay? Um, let's see here. Tell me about Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Tell me about Aries, please, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Okay. So, okay, so we've got the Phoenix. New phase, rekindle, renew, transformation, growth, and changed mind. We've got girl with the snake in the reverse. Empath, narcissist, paradigm, being charmed or used, and able boundaries. Okay. And then we've got passion in the reverse, insane chemistry, like each other equally and having fun under the deck of the Grim Reaper, the, the relationship's over, no second chances. So Aries, I would hate to say that if you're going in to reconcile with somebody, the answer is going to be no. And if you're saying to somebody that you want to be more than just friends, I feel like the answer is going to be no. Okay, I feel like someone here is crossing a boundary that should not be crossed and they're going to come to find on the other side that they're the, the other person does not feel the same way and it's going to end up destroying the connection or the friendship or whatever. Okay, tell me about Aries, please. Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. 
So we've got getting to know each other. As you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. And then we've got chemistry. There's a magnetic attraction here. So Aries, this is this could be somebody that you, a friend, somebody that you were getting to know um, and you feel drawn to them. Now, there there is three people in this card, Aries. So there may be a situation where it could be your friend's person or your cousin's person. You know, it, it, it could be a situation here where it is a risk to come forward and ask this person, hey, do you see this? Do you feel the same way? Because if your friend finds out, then, you know, now you've lost a friend or if if your cousin finds out you've lost a cousin you know what I'm saying like it is a risk going towards this person um, and I, I, so far I'm gonna say it's a risk that you probably shouldn't take so let's see here tell me about Aries please Sun Moon Rising and Venus please tell me about Aries Sun Moon Rising and Venus please Tell me about Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, please. Okay, so we've got the Nine of Cups in the reverse. We have the Six of Cups. We've got the Knight of Swords in the reverse, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, Energy. We've got the Star, Aquarian, Energy. Under the deck, we've got the Three of Cups, the Two of Cups, so, Aries, <clears throat> I feel with the Knight of Swords in the reverse and the Knight of Cups in the reverse that Spirit is telling you, don't do it. You, cross watcher, whoever is planning on making this move, don't do it. You're not going to be happy with the outcome. With the Six of Cups and the Star here, I feel that um, there may be an ex that you're hoping to heal with, a friend, or you know what I'm saying? I feel like you probably maybe feel a soul tie connection to somebody or a past life soul tie connection to somebody. Spirit is saying don't make the move because you're going to regret it. You're going to, you're not going to be happy with the outcome here, okay? Three of Cups and the Two of Cups. I feel there's an energy here of, hey, let's meet up, you know what I'm saying? But I feel like with the Three of Cups, it's like, let's meet up as friends or, and then, you know, someone here kind of turns it into and works their way towards, hey, do you want to be in a relationship? Okay, um, I feel like with the strength card and the two of wands and the full card, someone here has been holding back from asking this question, from taking their risk because they, you know what I'm saying, they know that there's a chance that someone here may walk away and, and it may ruin the connection, but I feel like someone's going to come forward and say something. All right, clarity, guidance, love messages for my Aries, please tell me with the nine of cups in the reverse. King of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, Energy. Tell me about the Knight of Swords in the reverse and the Three of Wands in the reverse. Someone here, Aries, may say, I'm in a relationship and I'm not interested. You know what I'm saying? Someone here may say, I'm, I'm in a relationship, I'm not interested. Six of Cups and the Knight of Swords, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, Energy, and the Star card here. King of Wands in the reverse, Leo, Sag, Aries, Energy. Um, I feel that somebody is going to make the move because they feel like there's a strong soul tie there, but when the rejection happens, when someone doesn't get their way, it's going to be there. It's going to be, it's going to rock someone's world. It's just going to be like their world is going to come crumbling down. Like I cannot believe you don't feel the same way. You know what I'm saying? Like I can, someone here may get angry, may get really nasty, may get violent. You know what I'm saying? Um, Let's see here. Clarity, guidance, and love messages. Clarity, guidance, love messages. Clarity, guidance, love messages for Aries, please. Three of Pentacles, Ace of Swords, Ten of Wands, and the Nine of Pentacles. Okay. Three of Pentacles, Ace of Swords, Ten of Wands, and the Nine of Pentacles. Virgo energy. Aries, I feel like what's happening here, I feel like someone here is coming forward and speaking their truth because they're tired of being single or tired of being alone. Um, I feel that 
Okay, so Aries, what may have happened here is somebody went off to start a relationship with somebody new. And now what's happening is we've got somebody here with the Eight of Wands and the Seven of Swords is saying, you know what? I need to communicate how I feel because with the Seven of Swords, I'm going to lose my opportunity. Okay, so I feel like what's happening here is somebody is starting to realize I'm getting tired of being alone. I'm getting tired of pretending like everything's okay. And the person that I want is going off to into a new relationship and it looks like it's getting serious. So let me speak up now. Okay, because this person doesn't want to lose the opportunity. Tell me about the three of pentacles. King of swords, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, energy, ace of swords. Five of Pentacles in the reverse. I feel here, Aries, that somebody is really trying to work this plan out. Okay, they're really trying to work this plan out with the Five of Pentacles in the reverse and the Ace of Swords. I feel like someone here is trying to speak their truth without losing their person. Okay, um, because someone here doesn't know if the person feels the same way. They just don't know. Tell me about the Ten of Wands here for Aries, please. Two of Pentacles and the Nine of Pentacles. Ten of Pentacles in the reverse. Yeah, someone here is tired of being lonely. Someone here is tired of being alone. They don't, I mean, it's not like they can't make it on their own. They can, but they're just tired of it. They're tired of not having a relationship. They're tired of not knowing, you know, if the other person feels the same way. That, you know what I'm saying? Someone here wants to know, do you feel the same way? And they're trying to bring it to the table without losing the friendship or without, you know. Tell me about the challenge here. Tell me about the challenge here for Aries. Page of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, Energy, the Wheel of Fortune, and the Magician, Virgo, Gemini, Energy. Okay. So someone here, the, the challenge is, is that somebody is gathering the courage. They, they're manifesting, wishing, hoping, praying. They feel strongly that the divine is going to give them what they want. So they're going to come in with that question. They're going to come in with that message. With the sun card, the three of swords, the nine of wands, and the five of wands, though, I feel like all hell's going to break loose. I feel like when this truth comes out with the three of swords, someone's going to get hurt really bad because someone's going to immediately reject the offer hard. Like someone here is going to get like, I, there's a terminology for it, but just like pushed away really bad. And with the five of wands, I feel like it is going to uh, make someone angry. Okay. Tell me about the outcome here. Tell me about the outcome here for Aries, please. The outcome for Aries. So we have the Judgment card, Sagittarian Energy. We have the Nine of Wands. And then we have the Six of Swords with the Seven of Swords under the deck. Um, I feel that uh, Aries, someone's going to make a decision. They're going to get hurt. And they're going to move on from this. Okay. And that's why I think initially it said prosperity lies ahead because, you know, put the truth out in the open. If something comes of it, great. If it doesn't, then at least this way, you know, the truth and you can move on. And I feel like that's exactly what's happening here. Um, someone here is setting themselves free by just knowing the truth, even though it hurts. Okay. All right, guys, I love you so much and take care. Bye, my loves.